What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you what you need to do if your phone haspa stop working. So for example, if your phone haspa won't show up in other phones or your phone haspa won't come on or any issue related to haspa, I'm gonna be showing you right now what you need to do. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we have internet connection. Just open the browser on your phone and search for anything you want. Just to make sure we have mobile data, the mobile data is working. After you confirm that you have internet on your phone, then let's jump to the next step. What you're gonna do, let's go ahead and open the settings, then let's go ahead and click on connections, then let's go ahead and click on mobile haspa. Now let's tap on mobile haspa. Okay, just make sure guys, your haspa band is on 2.4 gigahertz, not on 5 gigahertz. And that's because some phones don't work on 5 gigahertz. So basically, some phones will not find your Haspa if your phone Haspa is on 5 gigahertz band. So let's change that. For that, let's go ahead and click on settings. Then let's go ahead and click on band and you can switch the band right here. So right now it's on 5 gigahertz. So I'm gonna choose 2.4 gigahertz and then let's go ahead and click on save. Now, just try to connect your device to your phone haspa but if your phone band was already on 2.4 gigahertz what you're gonna do let's go ahead and click on settings then let's go ahead and click on band and switch it to 5 gigahertz then let's go ahead and click on save then restart your phone guys uh, let me just wait until my phone is on to show you what else you need to do you will have to change the band back to 2.4 okay so let's wait. All right, once your phone is on, let's go ahead and click on settings. Then let's go ahead and click on connections. Then let's go ahead and click on mobile haspa. Mobile haspa. Then let's go to settings and change the band to 2.4 gigahertz. Then let's click on save. And now guys, just try to connect your device to your phone haspa. So it should work now because sometimes when you do that, um, that restart your haspa band and automatically it starts showing up in other devices. Just try that. Now let's say you still got the same problem. Let me show you what you need to do. Let's go ahead and open the settings, then scroll down, let's go ahead and click on battery. Battery, then let's go ahead and click on power saving. If you have that setting on, on your phone, you might have it, just turn it off. And that's because sometimes the mobile haspa service use a lot of battery on your phone. And for some reason, some phone, when they are on power saving mode, sometimes Haspa don't work. So just do that to see if now that resolves the problem. Let's go ahead and open the settings, connections, uh, mobile Haspa, turn it on and try to connect your device to your phone. Now, if you still got the same problem, open the settings, then let's go ahead and click on connections, then let's go ahead and click on mobile Haspa, then tap on mobile Haspa. Now let's go ahead and click on settings and change the password. Sometimes when you change the password, other devices can find your mobile hotspot and connect it without no problem. Let's make a new password. It have to be a digit or more. Uh, you can just make a password like that, really easy, 129, then save. Now try to connect your device to your phone. Something else that you can do to fix any Haspa issue on your phone, you have to force restart your phone. That's something that I recommend you to do anytime you have like any problem on your phone, not even Haspa, any problem. To do that is really easy. What you're gonna do, you're gonna press and hold down the volume up and power button until your phone turn off. But if that doesn't work for you on some phones, you will have to press and hold down volume down instead of volume up. So you're gonna press and hold down volume down and power button at the same time until your phone turn off. Let's do it. By doing that, guys, you will not lose anything, okay? That's just gonna restart your phone. If your phone won't come on, automatically just press the power button. Okay, let's wait until the phone is on and then just try to connect your device to your phone through Haspa. And it should work though, it should work. But if that doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you the last thing you have to do. Okay, now my phone is on. So now what you have to do, open the settings, go to your Haspa, then try to connect your device to your phone. Now the last thing you have to do in case your phone is still got the same problem, Let's go ahead and open the settings, scroll the way down until you see general management. Let's go ahead and click on that. 
then here you're gonna see reset if you don't see that button the reset button you can just do this open the settings and you can search right here for reset setting reset or setting let's go ahead and click on that okay now you're gonna see two different settings right here the first one reset all settings second one reset network settings and reset accessibility settings now make sure you click on the second one, reset network settings before you click on reset settings let me explain something to you when you reset the network settings on your phone that will reset all the wireless connection like Wi-Fi connection, mobile data, and Bluetooth, including HASPA. Even though you don't see HASPA right here, mobile data is like your HASPA. If mobile data is not working, the HASPA is not going to work. That's why you have to reset the network settings. After you reset the network settings on your phone, you will have to reconnect your phone to your Wi-Fi network. So what I mean is that you have to put your password because everything is going to be like factory reset. Uh, you will have to connect any Bluetooth device to your phone because the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth section are going to be just empty. So you will have to reconnect all your Bluetooth devices and your phone to Wi-Fi. Now, if you want to do all that, let's go ahead and click on Reset Settings. Then just enter your screen password and you will reset the network setting on your phone. That will definitely fix any wireless connection, including HASPA, like I said. Something that I forgot to mention in the beginning, just make sure your phone system is updated. To make sure, let's go ahead and click on settings, then scroll the way down until you see system update or software update. Let's go ahead and click on that. Right here, make sure your phone has internet connection. Then let's go ahead and click on download and install. And on this page, you will see if you have any pending update on your phone. If you see a new system update available on this page, just do it as soon as possible because that's another reason why some phones start getting HASPA issue, guys. Also remember, when you update your phone system, you will have to restart your phone manually. So just press the power button and restart your phone. Some people also say when they are having any HASPA issue or any connectivity issue on their phone, what they do, they just bring the control panel down, they just turn on airplane mode, and they just leave it on like that for like 5 to 10 seconds. After that, they just turn it off and try to use the HASPA or any connectivity on their phone. And that makes sense. When you put your phone on airplane mode, automatically all the wireless connectivity turn off, as you can see. As you can see, if I turn on airplane mode, Wi-Fi turn off automatically, Bluetooth. So basically, that restart all the wireless connection on your phone. I think that makes a lot of sense. Just do that if you still got the same problem, okay? If you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.